What's up YouTube? Jeff back again. Today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Yesterday we finally got the Galaxy S23 Ultra series mega update here in the US. I made a video on that talking about some of the stuff that was new. I had just downloaded it so hadn't had time to go through some of the features but we have some more information about what has changed with the camera. Samsung has given us an official change log and also I got another update to a very important application that you should definitely update after you take the Samsung S23 Ultra Mega Update. I'm gonna talk about those things today. Some big improvements to the camera via camera assistant. Before we do get started, I wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving me this Triceratops to hang out with us. He always gives me a dinosaur for the video. And also I wanna remind you guys, if you wanna save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless, and right now, one of their biggest sales of the year, you get unlimited premium wireless for just $15 a month. Mint has a number of great plans year round, the five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the unlimited plan that I just mentioned. But as you can see during this amazing offer, all the plans are just 15 bucks a month. That is 50% off the usual price for the unlimited plan. So you really wanna take advantage. All the plans come unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. It's very, very simple to switch to Mint. You get either an eSIM or you get a physical SIM. They'll also send you out a SIM tool, just like uh, this one right here. You pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM and let the savings begin. I've been using them for about nine and a half months in the Phoenix area. If you guys haven't tried them yet, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. My link will also be in the pinned comment description. Sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan. Get this amazing 50% off unlimited deal. And also if you sign up with my link today, I'm gonna give you a free smartphone case of your choice, like the gorgeous Kadabi sheath for the S23 Ultra. Can be for any phone, any case, it doesn't have to be a Samsung phone. Mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up today. Get in touch with me via Twitter DM or email to claim that case offer. I'm doing that as a personal thank you for you guys trying Mint. We do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So first of all, let's uh, get into the change log. And uh, this is translated from Korean. Uh, I just took the translation that Sam Mobile did because they already had done this. So I figured why redo it? Um, they already have it on their link. I'll, I'll link it below to their article. This was posted by a community moderator in the Samsung community uh, over on the Korean Samsung website. And this is a full list of changes, um, which is an extended change log for the Galaxy S23 series update. So you can see there are two times portrait mode and improved three times shooting in low light, uh, improved camera um, quality, supported models, the Galaxy S23 series. Most of these apply to the Galaxy S23 series, although there are a few that do apply to some of the other series and they're mentioned here. Uh, multiple motion photos can now be deleted simultaneously in the gallery app. Um, this is now supported on the Note 20, S20, S21, S22 series, as well as the Z Fold and Z Flip lineups, excluding the original Fold. We already had this on the S23 series, I believe, so there's no reason to add it there. Photo remaster tool can now correct distortions at the edges. Photos captured with the wide angle camera. Uh, Note 20 up through S22 and Fold, I believe that was already in the S23 series as well. Add a function to correct distortion at the edge of photos uh, when shooting with a 1x to 1.5x zoom using the wide lens for the Galaxy S23 series. But if you don't have an S23 series, you can take advantage of this using the Galaxy Enhance X app, which just got an update a few days ago. I made a video about that on the channel. If you want to check it out, I'll drop it below. Uh, added a function to turn off adaptive pixel in the camera assistant. Now this is the big update I was talking about that was uh, pushed to another application. Camera Assistant, of course, is part of the good lock suite of apps that Samsung puts out. We'll go to the Galaxy Store after I look at the change log here, and I'll show you guys uh, where is, what is new inside that app. Um, basically, this allows you to, adaptive pixel already exists on the S23 camera, but this basically brings adaptive pixel functionality, I guess, to some of the other models uh, and allows you to turn it off on the Galaxy S23 series. Um, users can open the Camera Assistant, access adaptive pixel, and turn the feature on and off. Um, and like I said, we'll talk about that in a second. The change log was confusing because it wasn't clear um, exactly what was changing, but I think the only thing that's changing for the S23 users is the ability to turn adaptive pixel off. Uh, HDR composition error when shooting in backlight conditions has been addressed through the select speed priority feature in Camera Assistant. We'll look at that as well. Um, improved sharpness when recording 0.6X Super Steady with the S23 Ultra. Optimize picture mode previews with smoother animations when the device is moving left and right in low light conditions. Improve color and sky expression for high resolution photos. This is a complaint that a lot of people have made, including Ice Universe over on Twitter. 
and minimize color shift on certain solid color backgrounds when switching between the wide and telephoto camera. So first of all, if you don't have Galaxy Enhanced X, if you have some of those other devices besides the S23 Ultra, you might want to grab it um, for that distortion correction feature. But uh, everybody who has an S23 should definitely update the Camera Assistant application, which is one of the big changes and improvements that they just mentioned in that extended change log. This update rolled out today. It's version 1.1.02.2, 8.35 megabytes. Uh, and you can see up here, supported version 1 UI 5.1 or higher, supported model, S23 all the way down to the flip. So it says here, add the adaptive pixel for S23 and delete fast capture of high resolution S23. Need software update after June. Now the confusing thing about this is what were they adding? Because again, the S23 Ultra Cam already has adaptive pixel ability. I don't know because I don't actually have an S22 here at the office with me. Um, if that means they're adding adaptive pixel ability to the older phones, if you can turn that on, but I'm guessing not because it just says S23 in brackets there. I downloaded the update. So if you go in here and you look at the update, you go to camera assistant. I'll play with this, of course, and make some videos and some posts on Twitter about my findings. But now you'll find the adaptive pixel option right here. Uh, let me pull up my other S23 Ultra. Here's my AT&T model um, that was sent to me. You can see here, no adaptive pixel. So it's at the very top. Auto lens switching is the last option. I did not update camera assistant here. I also haven't updated to the new software update on this one yet. Um, and then the other thing that you can see there is that down here where you've got the um, capture speed prioritize, you can see where it says prioritize quality, balance speed and quality and prioritize speed. They now took off this higher resolution option at the bottom. You can see that. So that's actually removed there. If you go to prioritize focus over speed, you can also just kind of see that that doesn't change anything either in this instance. So for the high resolutions, it seems like they kind of fixed this um, and kind of compacted it into one. So there aren't those two separate options under capture speed. So a couple of new things there when it comes to the high resolution photos, and then also this ability to turn off adaptive pixel. I think that's the only thing that's new. Again, I just got this update this morning, just saw the change log from Samsung. So we're kind of trying to figure it out. Let me know what you guys have found. If you grab the update, if you play around with it, let me know if there's anything else that's new, especially if you have an S22 and you update camera assistant, you can go to the Galaxy store, just update it um, and see if there's anything new for the older devices that are older than the S23 series. I'd be very curious to know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the June update on your S23 series. Is the battery life good? I will make a follow-up video about that. I've only been running it for a day, so I can't say too much yet. If you guys want to save some money on your premium wireless service, check out again my partners over at Mint Mobile, mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get that 50% off the unlimited plan for a limited time. Also get a free smartphone case from me as a personal thank you. You can get in touch with me via Twitter, DM, or email to claim that. I appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.